Hey there guys, Howell here coming at you from Noise.co.uk with another edition of This Week in Metal, a weekly news roundup of everything that's happened in the world of heavy. So, to get things kicked off today, Korn bassist Fieldy has dropped out of their South American tour, for reasons unknown as of yet, we'll keep you updated with that, um, and been replaced by a 12 year old. One Ty Trujillo. Now, if that name doesn't any ring any bells, that last name should have done. Uh, basically, Ty is the son of one Robert Trujillo of Metallica. Um, it seemed like a gimmick. It seemed like something a little off center, even for Corn to do. And it seemed like they were just sucking off Metallica's dick. And for this to happen is the more I think about it, the more I think this actually kind of makes sense for Korn to do. They've never, like, gone in a straight line. They've always followed their own rules and they've always done things that have best suited Korn wanting to get something else in the future, aka <coughs> tour. <coughs> um, but then, I kind of, like... So the idea of this, right, I'm not gonna... You cannot shit on this kid, okay? Don't do it physically, don't do it verbally. He's a 12 year old for a starters, and he's actually a pretty kick ass bassist as well. Um, uh, and to be asked to do not just fill in the shoes of this guy, but to actually, you know, ask personally to do it, like, this kid must be doing something right. And he's got his own band as well called um, Helmet. Yeah, no, I could, all you could do is, like, you know, wish him the best, and gr congratulations to that, to, to Ty. I mean, big shout out to him. Um, congratulations, buddy, and I hope you kick a lot of ass in South America. They're going to love you, I'm sure. So, moving swiftly on, Mark Morton of uh, Lama God um, is working on a solo album and took one pretty interesting photo yesterday, which he uh, posted up on, uh, on Twitter, I believe, uh, with one Chester Bennington of Linkin Park. Whether or not I'll be excited about this, I have no idea. I'd be a little bit more stoked if they were working on a new Lama God record. Yeah, I mean, don't hold your breath for a hybrid theory mixed with a bloody sacrament here, so I don't think it'll be anything like that. It'll definitely be something that they've either been talking about for a while, or it's just a spur-of-the-moment thing. I think if, they've, if this is if this relationship's been going on for a bit, then they've probably maybe been talking about this for a while. I don't think it's going to be a consistent album. It'll probably just appear on the one track, like, you know, most of these solo artists will actually do. Uh, I won't hold my breath on it. But more excitingly, I want to bring the attention to Employed to Serve uh, have released a new single called Good For Nothing which was out last week uh, April 7th and fucking hell it is an absolute blinder and that was taken off their uh, latest album that's going to come out May 19th uh, on Holy Raw Records and it is called The Warmth of a Dying Day if you've got a quick three minutes later on do yourself a favor stop listening to my bullshit right now and watch this video the link's going to be in the um, in the description below uh, Europe this April, so they'll be going on tour about, you know, around this time anyway. Um, and not only with Heck, they'll be actually doing it with Palm Reader, which is such a fitting tour. Palm Reader, Heck, Employed to Serve, that is a fucking hailstorm tornado of fucking souls of a tour. So they're going to be going around Europe, uh, you know, with them in May and June. Uh, and we'll be at the Arc Tangent Festival in August. So yes, do check out Employed to Serve. Uh, the single is called Good For Nothing. The, sing uh, the link's going to be in the description bar below, which was out last week. Uh, again, the, war uh, the Warmth of a Dying Day is out May 19th via Holy Raw Records, and we cannot wait to have a listen to that. So that's your weekly roundup this week. Uh, let us know if you've missed anything out. You can like, share, and comment, describe all your feelings down in the uh, comment section below. We would love to hear your soul bid to us today. And, um, yeah, we will see you next week for another weekly roundup of This Week in Metal. I've been Howell Davis, and just stay metal. Peace out.